from the WKBN First News Network, home of the high school football Big 22 Award and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM. It is a picture-perfect night for football here at West Branch High School. Tonight we shine the spotlight on Division IV, Region 13, and a rematch from just three weeks ago as 4-3 and three East Liverpool pays a visit to undefeated 6-0 and oh West Branch. Of course, in the first go-round just three weeks ago, it was West Branch holding on to defeat the Potters by a final of 34 to 28. There is certainly a big time buzz as we welcome you in. Chad Krispinski with you. Brian Jones will join us here in just a little bit. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. East Liverpool is looking to win the turnover battle. West Branch overcame four turnovers and a blocked punt in the first meeting. West Branch looking to spread the wealth. The Warriors have so, so many weapons. In fact, eight or nine guys at the skill spots will get touches. That's certainly rare in the high school ranks. Finally, let the stars shine. We'll introduce you to two tremendous quarterbacks, one for each side facing off, and we'll see who will rise to the occasion. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. West Branch won the toss and elected to receive. It is Joey McNichol set to kick it away. Twin return man back deep for West Branch. And here we go. It's all about surviving and advancing in postseason play. Opening kickoff taken across the 15 to the 20, out to the 25 and ahead across the 30 to the 32 yard line. It looks like David McKeever on the return. It'll be first and 10 for the West Branch Warriors. And again, such a quick turnaround from that first meeting just three weeks from the last time these two went at it. What changes in the second go round? You got to come after it, and you're used used to being on the field here. So, and if you're West Branch, you can't turn over the ball. And it is first down and ten from the 32-yard line. Warriors have it. Brock Hillier back to throw. Has plenty of time. He'll go deep down. Field. It's caught. 30 down to the 21-yard line. Holding it in, McKeever, and the Warriors strike for a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage. What a way to start things for West Branch as he was streaking down the field, and that was a picture-perfect pass from quarterback Brock Hillier. West Branch back to the line of scrimmage. Here is Hillier to throw. He's rolling. He's under duress. Throws middle of the field. Catch made at the 10-yard line. On the receiving end, it was Andrew Coffey. Again, so many different weapons, so many offensive standouts at the skill positions, and a perfect strike once again from Brock Hillier. We haven't even begun to talk about what he has been able to accomplish this year. And it is first and goal from the 10. Warriors keep it to the ground, but the Potters all over it. And stopped in the backfield is Alec Wilson, as there was a swarm of white Potter jerseys in the vicinity to bring down the ball carrier. And leading the way, it was Cameron Bryant, one of two Bryants on the defensive and offensive line. Second down and goal from the 16-yard line. As Brock Hillier goes, West Branch goes, and so far he's gone pretty well as he's back and ready to take the snap. Hillier looking, firing, it is caught inside the 10 down to the six yard line. Third different receiver to make a touch, this time it's Josh Gregory. You're seeing the quick strike offense from West Branch in full motion right now as the ball distribution is very impressive to start this game. Third and goal from the six yard line. Hillier with a long count, looking to throw. Hillier flushed, rolling near side, firing end zone, touchdown! Andrew Coffey, who 
throws it in. Six yard touchdown pass. West Branch strikes first. Great job by Brock Hiller. He rolls out, finds coffee in the back of the end zone as he loses his coverage in a nice, easy pitch and catch. And that was very easy for the West Branch Warriors to open up this one tonight. On for the extra point. It is Benjamin Tolson. Snap back, ball down, kick up, kick, good. 7-0 West Branch of the WKBM High School Football Game of the Week. Stadium GM in Salem carries the longest-lasting full-size pickups on the road. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and take-out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Nothing says value like a Mitsubishi certified pre-owned vehicle. All certified pre-owned Mitsubishis have undergone a rigorous 123-point safety inspection. Are under five years old have fewer than 60,000 miles. Top that with our 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and you're not just buying a great vehicle, you're also getting peace of mind. They're always in stock and ready to go at Boardman Mitsubishi. Nine fifty-six left to play here in the opening quarter. West Branch with a seven-nothing lead over East Liverpool. Ensuing kickoff is a short one taken across the thirty, up to the thirty-five and the forty, and the forty-five, and even the forty-six-yard line. So East Liverpool will open things up with. Great field position, Braden Wright on the return. As you get a look at the Potters' offensive group, led by quarterback Howard Williams. Devin Toothman is tremendous at running back, and the Bryant brothers at right guard and right tackle headline a very talented offensive line, a very much run-first style of offense. Potters keep it to the ground on the first offensive play for them. And it's ahead of the 50-yard line for a good gain on first down. Defensively, for West Branch, they will send out a defensive unit that looks this way. And the heart and soul of that defense, Brock Smith and Stephen Mara. Had a chance to talk with... Mara's parents, who are seated just below us, they're so excited for this playoff action. Second down and six. It's a run play into the open field, into West Branch territory. On the carry, Devin Toothman. And it's going to be enough for an East Liverpool first down. Good job by Devin Toothman getting in on the action there. And Talking to Coach Ludwig prior to the game, he said, you're going to see us in spread formations in the shotgun, but don't mistake it. We are a power run football team, and you're seeing that to start the game right now. Toothman, 469 rushing yards coming in, five touchdowns. He's averaging over four and a half yards per carry. Back to each side. Up the middle, this is Williams. He spun down and he works his way inside the 40. And Howard Williams is a guy that we're going to call a lot tonight. As you see, he's on a little read option here, and he sees that defense end expand, and he keeps the ball for good yards there on first down. Coach Ludwig saying he's like another running back in the backfield. When you have a running quarterback, you have extra blockers in the backfield, be it a running back, be it a fullback. It really puts other teams in a bind. The give is to Toothman. And Toothman muscles his way down to the 30-yard line. And another East Liverpool first down. I love what East Liverpool is doing to start the game. You see a lot of these runs are just one cut north and south, and they're really attacking this West Branch defense in the interior line of scrimmage, and it's working right now for Coach Ludwig. Toothman 
really grinds out first downs. According to the Potters, teams really have to key on him. This is Williams putting his head down. And he's quickly down to the 20 yard line. So, following that quick strike capability on display from West Branch, we've seen East Liverpool move right down the field in a much different way, doing their damage predominantly on the ground as expected. And just like you said, Chad, there's an example of having extra blockers in the run game there when you run your quarterback. And Williams will turn and give. This time, not much for Toothman in terms of yardage. He'll pick up one, maybe two. Down to the 18-yard line. They'll officially call it a gain of three, second down and seven. Rolling first quarter clock, 6.46 and counting. Full house in the backfield. Joining Howard Williams. They will give it to Toothman. And he knifes his way over the right side. And he picks up more positive yardage as he has been a real workhorse. And he sets up third down and about two. Good blocking up front from East Liverpool. And a big play on third down coming up. East, both sides. East Liverpool offensive line doing a great job on their first drive, and you'll notice Big 77 Mason Ludwig, just a sophomore, 6'5", 275 pounds up there. Williams up the middle, powers his way for a first down. Ludwig already has an offer from Toledo, also some interest from the Ohio State University as well. And it is first down and goal for East Liverpool. And you see they're just winning the line of scrimmage right now and doing a fantastic job getting Howard Williams, the guy that makes this offense go, off to a good start here early. First and goal from the six. Williams fakes the pitch, puts his head down, and he is spun backwards as he tried to work his way towards that goal line for six. And he almost got there. He's certainly not big in terms of stature. But he was held out of the end zone there. It'll be second down and goal from the two-yard line. As the plot thickens early in this opening quarter. Williams up the middle. Williams is in. Touchdown! Howard Williams with his 12th rushing touchdown of the season. And East Liverpool answers right back, marching right down the field. Great job by that Potter offensive unit as Howard Williams is picking up right where he left off last week against Gilmore Academy. He had 103 rushing yards in that game with two touchdowns. And he's off and running to get this thing started tonight. On for the extra point. It is Joey McNichol. Trying to tie this thing up at seven. Out of the hold of Howard Williams. Will snap. It's down. Kick up, kick good. 7-7 seven, seven is our score on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. White Line Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. 
When in need of a lawyer, entrust your representation to the attorneys at Ingram, Cassis & Grimm. Ingram, Cassis & Grimm is a local law firm backed by over 100 years of combined legal experience, providing a wide range of legal services to private citizens and local businesses. Whether you or a loved one is the victim of medical negligence, injured in a car accident, or the police are knocking at your door, Ingram, Cassis & Grimm will be there for you in your time of need. Receive the personal service and zealous representation you deserve. Call Ingram, Cassis & Grimm today to speak with an attorney. Potter faithful on hand on a chilly night in Beloit. 7-7 is our score and it is turning out to be a very entertaining football game. McNichol just booted the extra point. Sends the kick down the field. It is picked up by McKeever. McKeever swung the pot and dropped. At the 20 yard line he had nowhere to go. It'll be first and ten, West Branch. Every week we pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. The other sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing will feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. So back to work goes West Branch. Alec Wilson is in the backfield. Brock Hillier back to throw. He has time, and he fires. It's complete up to the 20, and then back to the 19-yard line. Drew DeShields, the son of the West Branch. Girls basketball head coach, Walt DeShields. Very athletic family. And Drew already making an impact at the varsity level, and he's only a sophomore. He picks up three yards on first down. It'll be second down and seven. Empty backfield now for Brock Hillier. Hillier, design run. Quarterback draw straight up the middle. He crosses the 25 to 26 yard line. You spread him out. See what you can get up the middle. Absolutely good call there. Spread him out. Get the five wide set. Try to get a light box in there and see if you can come away with some yards. Back to the line of scrimmage, same play. Hillier breaking tackles, and he's up to the 34-yard line. Brock Hillier, according to head coach Ken Harris, is just a team leader. He previously was banged up a little bit. He sat out of practice the previous two weeks leading up to the first meeting between these two. So he wasn't necessarily at full strength, but. He's a very strong kid. He's also experienced. Draw play up the middle. 40, first down, and a lot more. Alec Wilson written down at the 44. First and 10, West Branch. Beautiful call here by Coach Harris's offensive unit as they go to the delay draw to Alec Wilson, and he stiff arms a guy there and gets great yards. First and 10 from the East Liverpool, 44. Hillier to throw, has all kinds of time. Throws a dart for a first down to the 30-yard line. And he's getting a whole bunch of Warriors involved. That was DeShields again. It was second catch of the drive. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. Three wide receivers near side to the right, one to the left. Hillier to throw, looking, rolling near side. Hillier firing, and it is incomplete. Good coverage downfield by Howard Williams. It was intended for Jackson Hendershot. Right now you're seeing West Branch provide a lot of pass protection for Hillier, and he rolls out, and he tries to get it to Hendershot, but Howard Williams plays a great Ball there as he deflects that ball at the last minute. Good play. Second down and 10 from the 30 yard line. Same alignment for West Branch. Run play. Hillier up the middle, muscling his way inside the 25 yard line and wrestled down at the 22. Brock Hillier showing you his athleticism here as he is getting 
chunk yards on the ground right now. Third down and two. Hillier calls his own number. And Hillier has another first down for West Branch. And the late flag is thrown. And that's going to tack on some extra. Dead ball after the play. Personal foul, number 19, defense. That's Devin Keyes. The referee is Jim Gahagan. One of the best in the business. 40 years of officiating experience. He thought he was going to call it quits at the end of the year, and he says that he was talked back into it. So good to have him on board and his entire crew, Rich O'Brien, Chuck Parker, Kevin Pusche, and Floyd Crooks. First and goal from the eight for West Branch. All spread out. Hillier with a cadence. And he threw a sliver pull across. Number two, defense. Five yards, still first down. Good hard count there by the quarterback. As he's able to draw Landon Bailey off sides. And you can't have those type of penalties right here. From the three-yard line, Brock Hillier up the middle. He's in! Touchdown! Three-yard touchdown run for Brock Hillier. He now has 10 rushing touchdowns on the season. He had a gaping hole and took full advantage. Great job by Brock Hillier, but let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line on that entire drive, providing a lot of time in the pass game and off also paving the way for the rushing attack, mostly led there by quarterback Brock Hillier. Benjamin Tolson. On to attempt the extra point. Snap back, ball down, kick up, and the kick is good. 2-10 left to play here in the first quarter. It is West Branch with a 14-7 lead in a high-scoring affair. The first meeting went to the Warriors, 34-28. to 83-yard drive. And the Warriors mixed it up well with the run and the pass, but in the center of it all was Brock Hillier. Now coming in, this West Branch offensive unit is averaging just a hair under 42 points per game. And when I spoke with East Liverpool head coach Josh Ludwig, he said, look, we held them to a season low in that meeting, and that was 34 points. But we're in for a shootout here tonight, it appears, as you look at the total yardage in quarter number one for West Branch, a buck 39. He's Liverpool. That offense now waiting in the wings. Absolutely, Chad, and it's a game of adjustments, and, and both defenses right now are going to have to make a pivotal adjustment to stop the opposing offense, and we'll see how that unfolds here tonight. Corbin Tenefoss has the football teed up. He's set to boot it away. Tana Foss makes his approach. It is a very high short kick taken across the 30. To the near side, 34. And a good special teams tackle by West Branch's Michael Kanegi. On the return, Stephen Dorsey for East Liverpool. The area's best football players are all part of WKBN's Big 22. It's sponsored by... ASECU and Ingram, Cassis, and Grimm. Head to WKBN.com, click on sports, to see the top high school football players from the Valley. 205 left in a very up tempo, exciting first quarter. Howard Williams spun down at the 35 yard line. And on the tackle, Stephen Mara. Good job by Stephen Mara coming in from his linebacker position. And that's where West Branch feels that their strength is on defense, is right through the middle there with the two linebackers. And Mara doing a good job there on first down. Pickup of two. Second down and eight from the 41-yard line. And Williams will give. 
This is Eric Williams into the open field and written down at the 38-yard line. Eric Williams getting in on the act. Just a sophomore, but making a big impact here on that carry. Great run by Eric Williams as he gets to the edge quite easily in the East Liverpool Potter offense. Has it going on the ground right now. Down to 115 and counting. In the opening quarter, these two teams on their first respective possessions have gone right down the field. From the 38-yard line, Howard Williams will toss. This is Toothman. Toothman cuts it back inside. And he will pick up positive yardage of three. It'll be second down and seven. Different look there by East Liverpool as they go under center. Out of uh, 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end, and two receivers. And flip it outside to their running back. And Coach Ludwig said he's going to try to give this defense a lot of different formations and personnel groupings this, this time around. Play clock down to seven. Howard Williams will keep it himself up the middle. Williams spins his way inside the 30-yard line, and it's going to be an East Liverpool first down, and we'll see if they snap it again as the first quarter may expire prior to that happening. So that's going to do it for us here in the first quarter. What a first quarter it was. West Branch, 14, East Liverpool, 7 of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and takeout is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. As we transitioned into COVID-19, we took a proactive and strategic approach to keeping you, our community, safe. We gained your trust by always being honest and transparent in our communication. As your health system, we commit to always being open and ready to care for you. We will get through this together. At East Liverpool Health System, trust begins here. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. All set for the second quarter. 14-7, West Branch. Leading East Liverpool, but the Potters are on the move. On first down, Toothman takes the carry, and he is dropped in the backfield. Spun down by Stephen Mara. A huge part of that West Branch defensive unit, truly the heart and soul, and he's making his presence felt here in the first half. Great run through there by Steve Mara as he reads the run to the left there and he splits his gap very fast able to get the running back down for a tackle for a loss so that's going to set up East Liverpool for a second and long here from the 29 yard line on second and 11 Howard Williams cuts it up field puts his head down and rumbles inside the 25 to the 24 yard line and that will set up a third down play, third and what looks to be about seven. So no panic there from Coach Ludwig as he elects to keep the ball in Howard Williams' hands, and why not? Works well so far, but we'll see if they go to the air here on third and six, going into score here. West Branch defense open to come up with a stop. After both offenses have looked tremendous to start this football game.
Howard Williams rolling under duress, floats it downfield, and it is almost intercepted. Well, that ball hung up there for a long, long time. And I think that was Jackson Hendershot who had the best shot at it. And he hit the deck. There were two potters in the vicinity, including Braden Wright. So the offense will stay out there on fourth down and six. Play clock is down to 12. We may see if Liverpool take a timeout. Let's see. They'll hurry to the line of scrimmage, and a timeout has been called. 10.26 to play. We'll take it as well. West Branch up seven of the WKBM High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. This October, we're helping Mercy Health fight breast cancer in the Valley. For every new Chevy, Buick, or GMC we sell in October, we will donate $50 to the Joni Abdu Comprehensive Breast Care Center at St. Elizabeth Youngstown Hospital. Purchase the all-new 21 Chevy Silverado for 20% off MSRP, or lease the 21 Chevy Silverado as low as $239 a month. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. It's almost 4x4 four four season at Columbia and Ford, and we've got some great deals to keep you on the road all winter long. Check out this 2016 Ford Escape SE 15488 or this 2018 F 150 STX for 28888. This 2018 Ram 1500 is 26988. And this 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500, 29968. At Columbia and Ford, we make 4x4s four affordable. Out of the timeout, East Liverpool facing fourth and six from the 23. There was a whistle, the ball was snapped. But I think the whistle was just saying, okay, we're ready to play. Whenever you're ready to snap, the ball was snapped. And we'll set it up again. The ball was not marked ready for play. We'll replay the down. That was a close one there, right? Sure sounded like he blew the whistle and then the ball came, but here we go. Fourth down and six. Williams looking to throw. And Williams is dropped. Swarmed upon by that West Branch defensive group, and that's Andrew Coffey blasting his way in there. And Coffey has made it a habit of bringing quarterbacks down. He has five sacks coming in. And it's a turnover on downs. First and ten, back to West Branch. Good job by Andrew Coffey. The pass rush was really good, and they collapsed the pocket, and now they're able to get the ball back to their high power offense. Brock Hillier. Takes the snap, he'll take it himself up the middle, breaking tackles as he crosses the 30, and they'll give him forward progress ahead to the 34-yard line. He sure runs it hard through there. He looks like another running back at times, and you can certainly see why he led the team in both passing and rushing touchdowns just one year ago. Empty backfield for Hillier. And he wants to throw. He has time pumping once. Let's it rip. Caught inside the 50, down to the 45. Andrew Coffey made the grab. And the Warriors are on the move again as they race ahead to the line of scrimmage. He has such great pocket presence and a great patient quarterback. And he's rewarded with open receivers. And when that happens, he takes full advantage. First and 10 from the 45. It's a run play that goes to Alec Wilson inside the 45 down to the 44 yard line. Yeah, good operation right now. Brock Hiller, just a play ago, standing in the pocket. He wanted to go to an underneath route, but his line's given a lot of time. And 
We'll see if they're able to put this one in to take a big time advantage here. Second down and nine. Warriors adjusting things at the line of scrimmage. Hillier takes the snap. He wants to throw again. He's flushed. He'll roll to the right side. And Hillier puts his head down and does a good job to get back to the original line of scrimmage and even picked up an extra yard. He looked like he would be brought down for a sack, but he had the presence of mind to realize, look, I've got to get out of this pocket, otherwise I'm going down. And he was just kind of coaching one of his wideouts, Josh Gregory, where maybe he thought he was going to be in the route. Tremendous leadership there by your quarterback, and that's what you want to see. Third down and eight from the 43-yard line. Hillier looked like a quarterback draw. He will now tuck it. He will run, and he powers his way just shy of the 35-yard line. And I don't think they're going to give it to him here. It's going to be fourth and very short. He did a good job to squirt his way ahead. And that late tackle by Toothman, not late in terms of penalty, but it came right at the end, kept him from getting a first down. And now it is fourth and one from the 36-yard line. Hillier will send out a grand total of five wide receivers, four to the left, and it is one far side to the right. Hillier, quarterback draw, finds an opening. He has a first down, and he's knocked down at the 30-yard line. This high octane West Branch offense flexing its muscles in the first half. No question, Brock Hillier again. Keep the ball in his hands, make it nice and easy on your offense, and let him get the first down for you. First and 10 from the 31 yard line. Hillier has the snap. He'll look to go to the air, fires deep downfield, and it is caught for a touchdown! An unbelievable grab from Josh Gregory! Somehow, some way, he hauled it in for six. Awesome throw here. He trusts his wide receiver, throws it to the back shoulder, and Gregory makes the big time adjustment. And that was a pitch and catch for the highlight reel. Another touchdown pass for Brock Hillier. Second of the night. Extra point try. Coming now. Coming from Tulsa, and it's up. And penalty flag has been thrown, so... We'll check it out. The kick was good. And we will take a timeout with 6.59 left to play. Here's the call. Personal foul. Defense roughing the snapper. The try is good. The penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Back after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Stadium GM in Salem carries the longest lasting full size pickups on the road. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine in and take out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Nothing says value like a Mitsubishi certified pre owned vehicle. All certified pre-owned Mitsubishis have undergone a rigorous 123-point safety inspection, are under five years old, have fewer than 60,000 miles. Top that with our 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and you're not just buying a great vehicle, you're also getting peace of mind. They're always in stock and ready to go at Boardman Mitsubishi. What a first half this has been. Back and forth. Two offenses on display. West Branch now with a 21-7 lead 
over East Liverpool. Corbin Tenefoss has the football teed up. They assessed the penalty on the kickoff. It's taken by Toothman across the five. He's to the 10, he's to the 15, and he's going to be spun down at the 21-yard line. And it'll be first and 10 for East Liverpool. It's 6.49 left to play. If you're just tuning in, here's how we got to this point. Brock Hillier got West Branch on the scoreboard with a six-yard touchdown pass to Andrew Coffey. Howard Williams punched it in from two yards out. For East Liverpool, we're tied at seven. Later in the first, Hillier with a three-yard touchdown run to make it 14-7. And then Hillier in the second quarter with a pretty 31-yard touchdown pass to Josh Gregory. That's how we got to this point, 21-7. Up the middle, go the Potters. It's the keeper for Williams. And those holes are closing up quickly. Not a lot of running room for Howard Williams. So you see West Branch trying to take control on the defensive side of ball of the line of scrimmage and try to close down those running lanes, and they're doing a nice job of it now. And you're going to have to see Coach Ludwig open up the playbook a little bit because this seems like a pivotal drive for the Potters. And if I'm Coach Ludwig, I need to get points here or else we can be in for a long night at the yard. Time out of the field, 6-16 left to play here in the second quarter. West Branch up 21-7. We knew that East Liverpool was very much a run-oriented team. They're not going to throw it a ton. They love to run with their very athletic quarterback Howard Williams and again those running lanes are closing up at this point in the second quarter but Williams not the fastest kid but the thing that stands out to the coaches at East Liverpool is he has a very strong will and a strong desire to win he's a great student high GPA high SAT score and that's always an important part, but he is really another coach on the field. He has the permission of the coaches to audible at the line of scrimmage. He says, they say he doesn't overstep that and try to do too much. And I think interestingly enough, when you have a leader at that young age, he's a leader that his teammates like having lead them. That's not always the case in high school football. Toothman. Trying to get to the edge, and he's knocked down at the 26-yard line. Tackled by Nick Wilson. That's a good job by the West Branch defense. You see here Alec Wilson. He sets the edge right there. He forces the runner to go to the outside, and that allows that pursuit to get to the ball carrier to force another third, critical third down here for the Potter offense. So down in six. They mark it at the 26-yard line. Howard Williams trying to keep this drive alive. Williams wants to throw. Stepping up, he dumps it off. It is caught, but a textbook tackle by Nick Wilson. Not allowing an inch. It'll bring up a fourth down play, and the Potters will have to punt. That's how you teach it. Absolutely. Good coverage there on the back end, and nobody opened downfield and forced Williams to check it down to his check down receiver, and there was nothing doing. They're going to have to punt and come up with a stop on the other opposite end. Williams averaging nearly 39 yards per punt. Low snap, Williams swarmed the pod, and he is going to be rolled down. Special teams, so, so, so important. And the Warriors just came up with a big play following the muffed snap. The first to get there for West Branch was Stephen Mara, and he was joined by Wilson and also Josh Meisner. And now West Branch with a chance to take a commanding 28-7 lead here if they can stick it in. 
and sometimes you just wonder if this could be the knockout punch with 439 left here in this first half. We'll see as Liverpool gets the football to start the third quarter. Brock Hillier back to throw. He'll roll. He will step up and he will break a tackle. He will float it. It is incomplete. My oh my. Dropped on the play by Wilson. But Hillier, give him some credit. He had all kinds of potters hanging on him, lunging at him. And he somehow was able to make it happen. We have a timeout on the field with 4.30 left to play here in the first half. West Branch 21, East Liverpool 7. And the chance for the Warriors now, they can stick it in to really, really take full advantage of the miscue on the punt. Let's check out some scores from around the area. It is crushed for you. 12, Southeast, nothing in the second quarter. Elsewhere, Garfield with a three-point lead over Cardinal Mooney in quarter number two. Elsewhere, it is Ursula with a 14-7 advantage over Villangela, St. Joe's, and LeBray, 21, Brookfield, seven. Salem with a big-time lead over Poland and Springfield, 14, Western Reserve, nothing. All of our scores are available. WKBN.com. So Brock Hillier awaits the snap. He has it. Fires complete to the right side. This is Hendershot. And Hendershot is pushed out of bounds. And that's just an easy pitch and catch. You see there's nobody in your screen right now for the Potters, and that's just too much space out there to work, especially with the plethora of playmakers they have out there. So you'd like to see that coverage get a little bit tighter down here in the red zone. Third down and two for West Branch, trying to take advantage of the miscue on special teams. They'll give it up the middle, and it's Wilson powering in. Touchdown! Alec Wilson muscles his way in for touchdown number nine of the season. And West Branch does indeed take full advantage of the special teams miscue. Absolutely, and that's exactly what you have to do as a football team. You got to take advantage of the breaks you get in a game, and West Branch puts this one in, and they take that commanding lead here in the second quarter. Olsen on for the extra point. His kick is up. His kick is good. 4-17 left to play here until halftime. And West Branch has opened up a 28-7 lead. Here in the rematch from three weeks ago in Division Four, Region 13. And when you're a running team like East Liverpool is, it's going to be awfully difficult to rally from a three touchdown deficit when West Branch has moved the ball up and down the field on both the ground and through the air. No question about it. Anytime you're a, a predominantly a run team and you're playing a team that, like West Branch, that has a high powered octane offense with five wide every play, it's, that's, those are the teams that you just can't afford to get behind. And we'll see what Coach Lovewood goes with here to get his team back in the game, but it, it's got to start on the defensive side of the ball, and they got to come up and make West Branch get, get off the field to get the ball back to their offense. So we'll see if that happens. Corbin Tenefoss has the ball teed up. Back deep to return. It's Devin Toothman. Potters would love to get a big return here them some good field position for what could be the final drive this will help the cause kickoff out of bounds so it'll be first down in 10 for East Liverpool illegal procedure kicking team 
The ball will be placed 25 yards from the spot of the kickoff. East Liverpool's ball, first and 10 to the 35. So the Potters now will take over. They looked so good offensively on that first offensive drive, which was capped off by the two-yard touchdown run by quarterback Howard Williams. But since then, it's been all West Branch. Howard Williams will keep it himself, busting a big one. It's a first down for the Potters, just shy of the 50-yard line to the 48. Great run there by Williams as they go right back to number 10, and he gets good running room through the left side of that offensive line, and that's the way to come out and start the drive if you're the East Liverpool Potters. Total yardage squarely on the side of West Branch. 226 and counting. The big chunk plays like that for East Liverpool will help lessen that difference. Toothman in the backfield. They will bring Williams in motion. Howard Williams looking to throw. He'll look downfield and he will have an underhanded pitch into the sideline. Incomplete. And now Jim Gahagan is going to come over and they're going to talk potentially intentional about intentional grounding. I don't think it got back. Let's see. And he did toss the flag out yep. there. Intentional grounding, number 10 on the offense. There were no receivers in the area. The penalty will be assessed five Five yards, loss of down. Two yards in spot of pass, loss of down. So there's the explanation in great detail. Much thanks to Jim Gehagen for that. No receivers in the area. I didn't see any, and the flag was promptly dropped. Yeah, so. they, they ran a four verticals scheme, so there was nobody around. In Give this to Toothman. Toothman sweeping the left side. He's to the 40, 45, 50. And into West Branch territory. As the second quarter clock continues to move. Good running room around the left side there by Toothman. And like we said, to start this drive, they're hoping to break one of those runs to try to get some points on the board on this critical drive, but they're behind the sticks here, third down and eight, and you're gonna have to bank on your quarterback to make a play here. 28-7, West Branch leading East Liverpool. Second round of postseason play. Howard Williams dumps it off, first down and more to the 30, to the 25, down to the 21 yard line. Calling that one in, Braden Wright for the Potters, and now the complexion changes. You cut this to a 28-14 game, heading into the locker room with the ball coming to you to start the third. The complexion of the game changes altogether. Absolutely good pitch and catch there to the tight end, Braden Wright, as he was dragging across the field, and those linebackers lost track of him, and it was an easy pitch and catch for a big-time conversion there, much needed. First down and 10 from the West Branch 21-yard line. Couple of backs in the backfield. It is Williams and Toothman. They will give it to Toothman. Toothman, cut down. First to get there again on the defensive side was Stephen Mara. Stephen Mara doing a great job from the linebacker spot. You see, he tries to chase him down from the backside, and he gets to him for a limited game there. And Stephen Mara is really showing up right now for the Warrior defense. They call it a pickup of one yard, second down and nine from the 20. Clock continues to wind. High formation in the backfield. Williams fakes the handoff. He wants to throw. Williams rolling, trying to find a corner. Williams is knocked out of bounds after a very short pickup. And it'll be third down. 
They tried to sneak the tight end on a little flag route, and he was covered nicely by that defensive secondary, and you'll see that he doesn't really have a check down in the screen, so he's forced to tuck it and get what he can, and West Branch strings it out for, for limited yards, so well done by the West Branch defense there. Sets up another big-time third down here. Inside of 90 seconds left until halftime. Big play for the Potters. Howard Williams spins free. He will tuck it. He will run. He's to the 20. He's to the 15. Puts his head down, and he is still on his feet, fighting for yardage inside the five-yard line. What an impressive, powerful run there by Williams as he is going on a bootleg here and realizes that there's a lot of green space to run to, and I'm going to take it and run it myself, and he runs through two tackles there, a third one there, and almost gets through another one. Great run by Howard Williams. And it is first and goal from the three-yard line. Potter's trying to take advantage. Williams turns and gives. It's a run play to Toothman. The ball came loose. And it doesn't look like Toothman recovered. We'll see who has it. Looks like it's a fellow Potter, so that will help. But the ball does come loose. Watch. Yeah, it does. And that could have been catastrophic for that offense. On second down, Potter's trying to push it across. And it's in! Touchdown! Following the lead blocking of that big offensive line, Potter's sticking in, and it's Howard Williams with a short touchdown run. And he put his head down in that extra effort with West Branch trying to strip the ball free. A great look in the trenches there. Extra point try is blocked. And there to block it. I believe that was Andrew Coffey. Let's see. Good extension there. Yep, it sure was. So it stays 28-13 with 39 and a half seconds left. Great answer on that drive. If you're the East Liverpool Potters, you would like to obviously come away with that PAT at the end. But nonetheless, they're going to get the ball back to start the third quarter. And just like you said, if they were able to put it in the end zone there, it's going to change the complexion of this game for the second half. WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite, honoring the top high school football linemen in the Valley. It is sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. Go to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. Talk about good offensive lines. Two really good ones on display here this evening in the second round of the playoffs. Howard Williams capping off a nine-play drive with the one-yard touchdown run. The extra point was blocked. That's why we are at 28 to 13. Ensuing kickoff taken across the 30-yard line. Up across the 35 to the 37. On the return, Tanner Edley for West Branch. And now... Two timeouts left for the Warriors and an explosive offense that has the ability to throw the ball downfield. 35 seconds is an eternity for this style of offense, so we'll see how Coach Harris elects to attack this last 35 seconds. Hillier has been tremendous. And with all of those weapons, they'll go back to work. Four receivers to the left, one to the right. And they're trying to set up an isolation route to the top, and, and the corners are going to take it away by the alignment here. Hillier back to throw, stepping up, 
He's looking downfield still, firing, and it is caught across the 50 by Wilson down to the 45-yard line. Clock stops as they will reset the chains. First and 10 for West Branch. Still an eternity. Clock winding. 21 seconds left. Brock Hillier to throw. Dumps it off. Wilson makes the catch. Breaks the tackle. 35 to the 30. And he's pushed out of bounds. Clock stops with 12 seconds left. I love Brock Hillier's awareness there. Everybody was covered up deep, so go to your check down to the running back. And great job by Alec Wilson catching it and running and getting out of bounds. Well done. First down and 10 from the 30-yard line. Brock Hillier back to throw. He has time. Steps up. Heaves sidearm. It's caught inside the 20-yard line by Andrew Coffey. A little sidewinder action for Hillier as we're down to 3.6 seconds left. Timeout has been taken by West Branch. That was a great throwing angle there by Brock Hillier, but that play just to the development of that play took a lot of time, so that's why we got three seconds left. So Coach Harris and his offensive staff are going to dial up the best play they have here. With We knew coming in just how good, or at least we've heard about how good Brock Hillier is, and boy, everything I have heard has been confirmed here tonight. Distributing the ball to so many different wide receivers, in fact, eight or nine guys on some occasions made catches. And you look at how accurate he is, his pocket presence. This offense is reaping the benefits of what Brock Hillier has been able to do. But does he have one more bit of magic here in the final three seconds of this second quarter? We shall see. We're definitely going to throw this thing into the end zone and see what it nets them. And, uh, you know, as a football team, you practice these plays in training camp and usually on Wednesday or Thursdays. And we'll see what they have thrown up right here. First and 10. Likely the final play of this second quarter. The line of scrimmage is the 18 for West Branch. Hillier has the snap. He's back to throw. He lets it rip into the end zone. Incomplete. And he showed off his cannon for an arm. As it was intended for Drew to shield, it was just this close. And that'll do it for us here in the first half. And it was a very entertaining first half of play. Your halftime score. West Branch, 28, East Liverpool, 13. Our halftime festivities will commence when we come back. We're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Buick Encore, luxury with a purpose at Stadium GM in Salem. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. <laughs> Feast your eyes on our devilish deals. Lease the all-new 2021 K5 LSX and pay only $209 a month for 36 months with zero do-it signing. Zero do-it signing. Our treat is giving you up to $7,000 over KDB fair value towards the purchase of any select 2020 Soretto in stock. That's better than a vampire who lives on a dead-end street. It's time for Taylor and devilish deals at Taylor Kia of Boardman and Hermitage. America's Wholesale Outlet is the area's best kept secret for name brand retail goods, wholesale bundles, and new merchandise. View all of our featured items and more at America's Wholesale Outlets.com. You'll never know what you'll find at America's Wholesale Outlet on South Avenue next to the Amish Market. Hi, this is Eric at Satoli Carpet and Floor Covering in beautiful downtown Warren. We'd love to have you come into our showroom to see the latest in carpet and all styles of flooring. Style, selection, saving Satoli. SatoliCarpet.com. 
Hi, I'm Steve Burbach, owner-operator of Midway Garage Doors in West Farmington, Ohio. We service in the Trumbull County area and the surrounding areas. We've been doing garage doors for 31 years. We're large enough to take care of all your garage door needs, whether it's residential, commercial, industrial, but we're small enough to care about you because we are a family-owned operation. We treat our employees like their family. We love what we do. We're Midway Garage Doors. We sell the best and fix the rest. And we reach it tonight from the home of the West Branch Warriors. We have been very entertained in this first half. West Branch with a 28-13 lead over the East Liverpool Potters in a rematch from three weeks ago. Of course, this time the stakes much higher. It's win or go home. It's time to check back in and revisit our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Acura of Boardman and Boardman Mitsubishi. East Liverpool look to come in here and win the turnover battle. West Branch in that first meeting overcame four turnovers and a blocked punt in that first go round. West Branch looking to spread the wealth. My oh my have they done just that with so many weapons, eight to nine guys at all those skill spots and everybody seemingly involved. And finally, let the stars shine. We've seen both of these quarterbacks have solid first halves of play, most notably Brock Hillier, who did it all for the West Branch Warriors building this 28-13 lead. We'll take a timeout and bring you back following these words. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Get your next versatile small SUV from Stadium GM in Salem. If raising Cane's secret cane sauce was the end zone, no one would ever lose a game. Crispy, crinkle-cut fries, touchdown. Buttery Texas toast, touchdown. Hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers, touchdown. Freshly made tea and lemonade, well, you get the point. Go for the win this game day with Cane's. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Do you need carpet and flooring? You're in luck. DJV Carpet offers wholesale pricing to the public, and DJV can save you more than anywhere else on the brand names you want. DJV Carpet, home of the Carpet Conquistador. Come on in and be a part of our family. Come see our daddy! <laughs> Feast your eyes on our devilish deals. Lease the all-new 2021 K5 LSX and pay only $209 a month for 36 months with zero do it signing. Zero do it signing. Our treat is giving you up to $7,000 over KVV fair value towards the purchase of any select 2020 Sorento in stock. That's better than a vampire who lives on a dead-end street. It's time for Taylor and devilish deals at Taylor Kia of Boardman and Hermitage. Hi, this is Eric at Satoli Carpet and Floor Covering in beautiful downtown Warren. We'd love to have you come into our showroom to see the latest in carpet and all styles of flooring. Style, selection, saving, Satoli. SatoliCarpet.com. Combine Brothers has served traditional Italian favorites and hermitage for over 30 years. With endless pasta combinations and generous portions, it's time to remember the taste of homemade. At Combine Brothers, a mile from Route 80 in Hermitage. Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Cizellis, and I've been helping people in the Mahoning Valley for over 15 years to achieve a level of health that allows them not only to do what they want with their lives, but to have the energy to fully enjoy it. You'll find lots of good information on my website, including videos specifically addressing some of the problems you may have. Scheduling an appointment is easy. Just click the appointment button or call 330-729-1350. Los Angeles County has more Hispanics than any other U.S. county with 4.9 million in 2019. The next largest Hispanic populations were in Harris County, Texas, and Miami-Dade County, Florida. Overall, 11 counties in the U.S. had more than a million Hispanics in 2019. This moment of Hispanic heritage, sponsored by attorney Elizabeth Bernard, proud to support our valley. For heating, cooling, and indoor air quality, the Mahoney Valley trusts MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning, offering worry-free repair, service, and installation. Call MP Vivo today for a free estimate. MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning. We're your energy-efficient experts.
West Branch up 28-13 here in week two on this Saturday night of high school football playoff action. Let's take a look back at Friday night's action of postseason play throughout the Valley. Without further ado, here's Sports Director Ryan Allison. Hi, everyone. It is week eight of the high school football season and round two of the playoffs here in Ohio. 29 local teams have made it this far, 12 of which were in action tonight. But after 48 minutes of football, only five are moving on to round three. Let's start with our WKBN game of the week. That is Canfield undefeated at home taking on Kenston. And the cards cruising on a chilly night in Canfield. Second quarter, Brock Lowry, the sophomore quarterback with a four-yard touchdown to give the cards a 7-0 lead. Then in, later in the third quarter, Lowry, screen pass to Chris Samarone. He's in for the score. Canfield up 21. And then in the fourth quarter, Lowry again. Little dump off here to Samarone. And he will do the rest. Samarone with an 80 yard touchdown run. Cards cruising in this one. And Brock Lowry not done. He would add insult to injury with a 17 yard touchdown here. All Cardinals tonight in the end. They cruise 28 to 10. The Cards improved to 7 and 0, and they will advance to play Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. The sixth seed won 48 to 6 today over West Geauga. Here's our player of the game on that win over Kenston. We're really fired up. We go uh, try to go 1 and 1 and 0 each week, and uh, just not, just great group of guys, great coaches, and. Uh, we're going to be ready for everybody. Anything that comes our way, we're motivated, and it's just going to be awesome. I can't wait until we keep going on. Let's take you out to Austin Town. Fitch taking on Twinsburg in the Division II playoffs. First quarter or second quarter. This is Tyree Mitchell finding some room and 23 yards in a first down. Then less than a minute to go before half, Devin Sherwood hits Jamel James. And watch the sophomore take a shot right here. He eats it, stays on his feet, and scores from 15 yards out. Falcons make it look easy tonight. They roll 35 to nothing. They improve to 7 and 0, and they will take on the winner of Warren Harding and Maple Heights. So let's see how that went down at Mollenkopf Stadium today. Raiders at home and on the attack early. Elijah Taylor firing a quick slant here to Kurt Dorsey. He's down to the one yard line. They would punch it in one play later. The QB sneak, Taylor's in. Big boys up front helping him out to a seven to nothing lead. And then later in the first, Taylor again, the lefty with a perfect strike here to Dom Foster. 35 yard touchdown. Raiders rolling the end 28 to six. So they are moving on. And there is a rematch Bruin in Division Three or in Division Two. Harding will take on Akron or will take on Austin Town Fitch. If you remember, that was our game of the week earlier in the season. Could very well be it again next Friday night. Niles in Division Three with their work cut out against Streetsboro tonight. First quarter, Streetsboro starts things off on their opening drive. Mason Klimek to Carter Giacomo into the end zone. Streetsboro up seven to nothing, and they just could not slow down this Streetsboro offense. This is Richel McAllister. And he's gone. That made it 28 to nothing. Niles would get on the board later, but that's far little too late. Streetsboro way too much. They win 41 to six. Red Dragons drop to five and three. Speaking of Division Three, Howland also in action, taking on top-seeded Chardon. The undefeated Hilltoppers are as advertised. After a three and out, Tigers punting, low snap. Yep. Rolling into the end zone, Rocco Prerico jumps on it, and just like that, Hilltoppers with a 7 0 lead. And boy, did they score on their very first offensive play. Jet sweep to James Pettyjohn, goodbye. 48 yard run for the Hilltoppers. They make it look easy tonight, ending Howland's playoff run 49 14. Hilltoppers remain undefeated. Let's move on to Division 7. Warren JFK at Liberty. Taking on Lowville tonight, and Rockets striking first in this one. This is Vinny Ballone going up top to Cole Bonofsky, who goes up and gets it. Check out the sticky hands. Bonofsky still can't get rid of the ball. Lowville with a 7 0 lead. Kennedy comes right back at him, though. Watch Cameron Hollaball 
run right through this poor defender, and it takes three more to finally bring him down. It's a 22-yard run. Jesse Likens would finish off the drive with a seven-yard touchdown. Warren JFK on a mission tonight. They roll 65 to 33. They'll take on the winner of Southern and St. Paul in round three. McDonald and Jackson Milton, two more local teams doing battle in McDonald. It was tied at halftime, but here comes Jackson Milton. Check out this play. Frankie Prozy rolls to his right. Looks like he's going to get sacked. Rolls out of it. Stays on his feet and fires deep. Cole Grope reels it in. So that drive stays alive. But they would squander it two plays later. A botched exchange right here. And just like that, McDonald's got the ball. And they turn it over on offense. Very next play, Dom Shadel makes them pay. Our Big 22 veteran with an 81 yard touchdown. McDonald rolls in the end 26 to 14. The Devils improved to 6 and 1. They'll take on the winner of Latonia and Buckeye Central. So let's show you who won that game. We head to Latonia. The Bears hosting the Bucks first quarter. Dylan Lennon to Jaden Finley. He takes it 50 yards before finally getting knocked out just at the seven yard line. So the Bears in the red zone, and you know what time it is. Marco Ferry, the Valley's leading rusher, just pushing his way in. From nine yards out, he'd follow that up with a 27 yard touchdown run right here. Marco Ferry scoring at will. Latonia rolls in the end 32 to 16, so they advance to take on McDonald in round number three. Very important game in Western Pennsylvania. Sharon and Grove City probably battling for the last playoff spot in Class 3A. Fourth quarter, this is Sharon on the one yard line. Tavell Richardson punches it in. We're tied at seven. Later in the fourth, fourth and seven, Zach Rogers to Curtis Hovis, and he's got a seam. Hovis is in from 35 yards out, extra point good. Grove City up 14 to seven. 50 seconds left. Tigers threatening. Brett Salsgiver passes to Jayon Phillips. He's in from 13 yards out. Sharon has a chance to tie it. They decide not to. They go for two and the win. And this pass from Salsgiver to Jayon Phillips. Not going to happen. That's how the season comes to an end for Sharon. They bow out 14 to 13. Grove City may have just helped themselves to a playoff berth. Not very many times at a loss for words, but I was at a loss for words there at the end. Uh, you know, just almost like you look at a repeat of last week going down to the end and, and a score. And uh, as we told the boys after the game, just so proud of them. You know, every time backs up against the wall, found a way to make a play. West Middlesex also a winner tonight, 31 to nothing. They may have punched their ticket in Class 1A. We'll be back to West Branch High School after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.